Now we're talking. Hmm? What's it? Jesus, are you knocking the fucking books off the wall, man? Jesus Christ, it's a it's an ESG approved woman for a modern audience. I better get out of here while I still can Hello, beta testers. My name is Kyel, and the Western gaming industry doesn't just hate Stellar Blade because Eve is an attractive protagonist. They also hate it because Kim Young Tae made all the bosses that Eve slays in the game strongly resemble the ugly ESG monstrosities that they call women in their games for a modern audience. <laughs> yeah, I'll be here all week. 5,000 likes and maybe Shift Up will send me my first waifu figure. In New Rocksteady's Sushi Squad, references to toxic masculinity, sensitivity treatment for the mature game, developers offended by an outfit, and oh yeah, broken matchmaking two weeks after launch with disabled crossplay and barely a thousand people playing on PC could and should be the absolute worst of the uncooked Sushi Squad's issues, but as usual, if you actually listen to the developers and writers, they can tell you more than I ever could. I mask my insecurity! Joker, he's masking insecurities. Masking mask insecurities insecurity. with traditional Joker behavior. behavior. But wait, there's more. Did you hear they made the shark gay too? So you know, on top of all the insecurity, the shark talks about anxiety and shit like that in the game. You know, I'm glad that I bought it so I could experience firsthand just how lazy all of this garbage is. To anyone who can see and hear, as in, you know, your eyes function, your ears function, it's not just lazy, it's all part of an agenda. <laughs> it's irrefutably woke. And to anybody who disagrees with this sentiment, feel free to spread your cheeks and submit to the rest of this video's penetration. So you can then pretend that you had no choice because you lack free will. Bioshock said, A man chooses, a slave obeys. This is Jeff Keighley, he hosts the Game Awards and chose to show you a man prominently displaying their breasts. Just like the cancelled Sega game Hyenas that would have featured a drag queen. He chose not to mention Hogwarts Legacy, the best-selling game of 2023 at last year's show. Why? Because it would go against the message. A video of creative director Brian Intahar's own words posted to Insomniac Games' Twitter results in a ban. Why? Because you're not supposed to acknowledge Insomniac's choice to pander, pander, pander while ignoring the fans, doubling down while catering to activists calling themselves journalists. Insomniac prioritized five mandatory Mary Jaw sequences and a deaf black girl graffitiing sequence over the Venom portions that they advertise the game to you with. Because why give you now what they can slice out and sell to you piece by piece later? Watch this video with Intahar's edited interviews, say it five times fast, and tell me if Mary Jane and The Message didn't take the new normal priority. Activists calling themselves journalists who demonstrate prejudice based on race and identity see the non-stop about attractive women while celebrating and cheering for jiggle physics for the male anatomy. An entity born a man who then transitions to their preferred sex apparently has say over how an adult woman can live her life. And disagreement is bigotry? I applaud and celebrate the right for anybody to make their opinion known. It doesn't change that it's an opinion in the same way that people crawl up my ass and act like you know there's a, any other place they'd rather be i'm here to let everybody know motherfucker same way power world exploded and made you little pussy see the more you wriggle and writhe the more you squirm and cry out the better stellar blade will do. Power World was so explosive it had developers seething, claiming that the developers had cheated. They only cared because it got more popular than they believe it deserved to get. Milk toast, gingerbread destiny players like Paul Tassie are eager to publish their articles celebrating a decline in the players when Power World broke 2 million, broke records, and still retains over half a million players. 
But just like triggered children convincing themselves they're forced to watch and interact with Kyle, Tassie's tongue is so familiar with Pal World's shaft that he knows intimately every inch and vein. So the community manager for the $30 early access game Pal World responds, This emerging Pal World has lost X amount of its player base discourse is lazy, but it's probably a good time to step in and reassure those of you capable of reading past a headline that it's fine to take breaks from games. You don't need to feel bad about that. Pal World, like many games before, it isn't in a position to pump out massive amounts of content on a weekly basis. New content will come and it's going to be awesome, but these things take a little bit of time. There are so many amazing games out there to play, you don't need to feel guilty about hopping from game to game. If you are still playing Pal World, we love you. If you are no longer playing Pal World, we still love you. And we hope you'll come back for round two when you're ready. Play lots of games, try different games, and frequently flick through indie libraries to find hidden gems. You cock-sucking fucking wannabe games journalist had it flipped on you. Not every game is trying to be the only play us, stay on my hamster wheel, we're gonna nerf this and increase the grind. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Beta testers, if you've just been watching up until this point, start liking, start commenting, and subscribe if you haven't. Because the difference in visibility is astronomical. Niggas want change, but they don't want to vote. That stops now. You can write this industry, and I'm willing to do it with you together. A mirror now threatens to end gaming's feminism-imposed hypocalypse. The same people telling you they're inclusive for adding vitiligo skins are careful to never observe equality between men and women, choosing instead to exclude what they deem attractive when men are allowed to present feminine, but women cannot. Kotaku, in between forcefully trying to inject more gay into the industry, implies single-player games are dying because Immortals of Avium, a game you either struggle to remember or straight up haven't heard of, flopped. Oh my god, it's making me sick just thinking about it. Ugh. This is what women in the game look like, by the way. Women. <laughs> a message telegraphed so loud and clear we might have been able to see it from space. Sorry, ESG. You want us to pay for this? What? Come on, nah. It can never be that it just sucked either. I like to consider this the Catwoman conundrum. If Catwoman came out today, it would be because Halle Berry's black or because she's a woman that everybody hated it. No, the movie just sucked. The narcissism of dimwits these days could never allow such clarity though, so it must be this ignorant and absolutely brain damaged take that the internet is already thoroughly roasting, so why am I even wasting time on it? When AI can do better than your agenda obsessed activist writers too lazy to actually put effort into the properties they're latching onto, it's no wonder sweet baby representatives are claiming that I must be right wing, whatever box they need to put themselves in to feel more comfortable on a way to unemployment. This industry thinks forcing women to look like men to cater to transitioners is inclusion. But I'm afraid it's not. <laughs> I warned you, and that's time I'll never get back. Time wasted on kindness, not time spent. If you freak over the booty, like you did over Hogwarts Legacy, you'll give people another opportunity to flex how disgusted they are with the woke agenda and double standards imposed by proud people that view they themselves as saviors, waving the banner of inclusion and pride so that any who disagree with their virtuous endeavors must be ousted. And you know that they're virtuous because they tell you they are. Is that a Cuban flag? Don't worry about that. We'll fix that later. Well, are you a doctor? <laughs> I describe woke as the one wobbly wheel on the shopping cart. Any lunatic still using it in quotations is not interested in the clarity that comes with perspective because locking comments, reducing, dismissing, and straight up putting words in people's mouths is probably their agreed upon best bet at getting people to side with their cult. Their insane ramblings will continue to inspire people to close rank as well as rise up to articulate even to the audiences that can see through the this drivel, what's going on and how to avoid it. And kind of naturally, we've already begun to starve it. 
Earlier I wake up and I see a video of a trans entity in a woman's bathroom live streaming, sliding their phone under a woman's stall and screaming I have a dick at a woman that they are filming in the bathroom without their consent. I'm reminded every day of other up their ass douchebags that I witness admitting that they actively withhold information that they are fully aware would change whether or not their partner would consent. No different than having AIDS and concealing it from an intimate partner. Surely these beliefs are held by only a few and not indicative of the vast majority of them. And I can just dismiss this as a psyop to rage bait and rile people up, right? But no, I saw popular people loudly promoting the same deceptive mentality as far back as the declaration that buying Harry Potter makes you evil. I reiterate, I don't have a problem with these people. It's the forcing of their beliefs and the, quite frankly, terrorism when we as gamers are accused of that for leaving a bad review for a buggy game. In response to Alex from Digital Foundry's hyper offense to an attractive woman in a video game, here's what some Japanese people had to say. Sorry, not all of us Westerners are these funyachin beta men. That's slang for limp dick. In quotes, a woman with such a super figure. This guy's never seen Megan Fox before. Bunny, cause Stacey Henley had a problem with, with Megan Fox. Advertising Diablo, how dare she do, do that with her body? Unbelievable. Another comment, how do you get people like this out of this hobby? I guess I should just kick him out? I say this implicitly, but seriously, these guys' holy attitude is annoying. Puritans like these are useless in any hobby, including video games. Another comment, this is the character who hurt him. It's inappropriate and too sexy for a modern audience. Is this the mindset of Western customers? No. Or are these individuals a nagging minority? The character designs are cool because they look like they were made before 2015. Those were the days when games were made with love rather than smug, ego-satisfying displays of virtue. For spoken, on the other hand, is visually boring. Enough of realistic character designs. In many cases, they don't even have character designs anymore. They just call in random people to model their faces. They say and they just grabbing people inside the studio. Why limit yourself to what is found in nature? What if we did this to creatures and places, let alone people? Indifferent and boring. Yeah, these people don't understand fantasy. All they understand is, what if I was in that? <laughs> I'm delighted that even through the language barrier, they could see that Mr. Attention Seeker with his hyper-edited video asking men with earrings and overweight dyed-haired black women what they think of sexy video game protagonist was just foolishness. The ratio speaks volumes. Watch this video. That's where I got some of this from. Um, you know, grab a, grab a sexy waifu to translate it for you if, uh, if the captions probably don't do the job. I'm, not, I'm sorry. Recently, a localizer whose job should have just been to translate proudly celebrated their infestation of what they were working on with their trans agenda after of course declaring their hatred for what they were working on and i quote the script was passed by multiple trans sensitivity readers and not only made sure to cast a trans person as seiko but also to cast as many of the trans actors who auditioned for her as possible i don't have an exact number but i think the love calm dub has something <coughs> excuse me has something like 20 trans slash non-binary actors in it. It's one of the transiest anime dubs in existence. If not the transiest trans rights. Trans rights? Well, I'm glad to see that somebody decided to use another person's intellectual property and work as a platform for them to spread their agenda. Narcissism. Better than thou. Grandstanding. This writer is disgusting and I can do it better. I will clean it and sanitize it so that it fits my sensitivities. People are up to their waist in water, <laughs> arguing over whether or not the ship is sinking. So beta tester, in the time that they're buying us, please understand, these people are not just in movies or TV shows, video games or anime. 
They are all around you. They are invested and admit to wanting to tear down what they're in the midst of. Their intention is to ruin. You need to resist. Thank you for not purchasing Sushi Squad Saints Row. Thank you for sending that Bud Light message. Of course, they're attacking us for passionately articulating the same way that they do our opinion. But it's a little scarier when it's something that they don't agree with. Kim is inspired by Nier. Acknowledged by Taro, Stellar Blade's gonna have a near kind of music feel, and we're ready. We don't care who doesn't like it, but the more you want to talk, the better it's gonna be. This motherfucker's been in the industry longer than most of you have been identifying as what the fuck ever. You know what I mean? You're a games journalist now? That's so cool. That's great. Oh, are your articles worse than AI? 50 million in a month is what Nikkei got us a victory manages all right they fear this beta tester but i want you to remember how frantic your indifference to their slop makes them how many people bought alan wake again of course i'd like for us to unite coexist and get along with one another but with people admitting that they hate and wish to destroy what we enjoy and harmlessly so we are forced to gatekeep it is not my intention to tell you what to do in the hopes of you obeying i seek only to provide you with information you might not have the time to find and validate yourself so that you can come to an informed decision i love you to the patrons to anyone liking commenting pushing all of these videos up i appreciate you because gaming should be fun I'm saying this out loud. I'm going to talk about the games that I'm excited about in the next video. Why don't you go buy everything on the wish list and drop your cup sizes in the comments below. Love ya. Talk to you soon. Stay out of trouble.